Now I'm going to show you how to use the slider component in App Inventor 2. So we've got this kind of funky UI where we've got a big button, small button that lets us change kind of the size of the circles drawn on, on this cat. Okay, And I'm just going to get rid of those guys. Instead, we're going to use the nice uh, slider widget, which is kind of a new component in, in App Inventor. So I'm going to delete the big and small buttons. We don't, we don't need them. All right, and then I'm going to go grab a slider component and bring it in and try to get into my, whoops, missed it there, but I think I can get in the horizontal arrangement. All right, then I'll just grab a label because this will kind of tell the user what that slider is for. And the, the label, uh, I'll just put some text in there that says, this is, you know, this is how you change the dot size. Okay, and then let's just, you know, I don't know why the orange is the default here, but let's change that to black. And that'll look a, a little bit better. Okay, so the properties on the slider component, one is width, and I'm I'm gonna change this to hundred. The 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 widget's a little bit glitchy, and I find if I give it a fixed width that that helps helps it. And we'll see how it looks. Yeah, it looks looks okay here in, in our UI. All right. Key things are these these properties. So min value, let's make the smallest circle someone can draw two, and let's make the biggest circle someone can draw. 20. All right, and we'll start it off as 10, right in the middle someplace. So that'll be the default. Okay, so that's kind of setting up our slider component in the designer. And, you know, now let's go to the blocks and actually make, make it work. All right, if you'll recall, we've got this variable called dot size. And when the canvas gets touched, let's take a look at this guy. When canvas is touched, we use the variable dot size. Whatever's in this variable, we use it to draw a circle that 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 size. Okay, so let's let's kind of make a swim rule. Let's get rid of this uh, camera stuff. And what we want to do with the slider is when the user changes it, we want to change the variable dot size. So slider has just one event. It's called position changed, and it tells you the thumb position. As and as you know. We set its range from 2 to, to 20. Okay. Now, when the position changes, we want to change the dot size variable. So I'm going to set global dot size to, and I'm going to mouse over thumb position and get the thumb position. Okay, and that's it. Okay. User changes the slider, change that variable, and then the next time they touch the picture, it'll draw a picture of a different of a different size. Let's see if it works. So right now. My picture should be of size 10. I'll touch blue, and let's see how big my pictures are. No, they're, they're size 2. Okay. I guess it's because I haven't changed my slider yet. Let's see if I change it. Okay, now the pictures are, are bigger. Okay, now if I change it to real small, they should be back down to 2. Yeah, they are. And real big, they should be the biggest yet, 20. Okay, cool. So our slider's working as far as changing it, but our default value for... The um, the circle size is not what 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 the thumb position is, which 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 makes sense. So really, if we wanted to start off as ten, we would just set this variable to ten to start off with, and that way, you know, because our our thumb position starting off as ten, they'll be they'll be in sync.